fix up omniverts? Yes. yes. No. No. Uh, don't listen. <laughs> no. No. Don't listen. No. 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 We omniverts um, tend to get different comments from different people. Some some might say she's just a talker, making friends so easily. But others might say she needs to spend more more time alone, and more time with other people, and have fun. Both of them do not see the whole me as being complex. I feel like agreeing and opposing at the same time. Personally, I can be both an introvert and extrovert. Everything depends on the situation. Um, my friendliness, activities, and appearance towards others. Everything depends on the situation or circumstances in which I am involved. Yeah. <laughs> You're just rocking me. <laughs> yes, um, I can, I can, I befriend those who can relate to me, but I'm not an overly friendly or shy. I appreciate, um, I, I love, I also love parties, but is, but I love to have parties, but I feel drained during these social events. And. I prefer to have uh, small events with um, my family and small uh, small amount of people are with my friends only. And also I recharge as well from draining at home. That's why I prefer to have a peaceful home, peaceful home and without any noise of people. I also love to, I also love a one-on-one -on -one serious talk with someone I am comfortable with. When I share to you my problems, opinions, or even about my crushes or any topics that I'm interested about, it just means that I'm comfortable with your company. And whenever I get mad to, whenever I get mad to a person, or yeah, I get mad, I just don't talk and avoid that person until it's gone into my it's gone into my mind and feel better again. Whenever I have an itch to be or to be surrounded with people and charge as well, I tend to hang out with friends that are lower key. Low key person means someone who does not um is who does not uh is uh does not show uh wild swings of emotion and and does not get mad easily. So why am I sharing this to you? I'm sharing to you some of my characteristics that you might not know because, you know, I'm always with you in class and in any other social activities. And I pray for your understanding. I want you to understand people like us. Some of you really do not know me might be shocked of my sudden change of mood. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter that we know other people's personality. I think it matters because each of us has our own zone of ability and our own zone of comfort. By knowing our own zone of comfort and, uh, and our own zone of abilities or difficulties, we can guide ourselves on what we're able and not able to do. And by knowing the people around us, we can also guide ourselves amidst those people. The better we understand other people and the people, uh, the people close to us, the more we'll be, uh, the more we'll be successful in dealing with people or situation and getting it right. <coughs> A lot of times, people don't treat us the way we treat them. However, it has been proven that 
that if you understand your own personality types and other people, it becomes easier for us to understand our it becomes easier for us to understand why they act or why they treat us the way they do. Right? Do you keep failing in life? One of the reasons why we haven't reached or we haven't reached the height we've set for ourselves is because you're setting the wrong target. Just because your friend succeeded in a particular endeavor means you will you will also um, you will also enjoy the same result. Each of us has our own zone of each of us has our own strengths and weaknesses. And we need to learn from that so that we can we can in, we can uh, learn how we can leverage them to achieve what we want in life. So to have, to end this speech, I want to highlight this. The reason why we don't understand others is because we don't understand ourselves too. It's pretty sure that it's it's safe to say that we really know ourselves pretty well. Your likes, dislikes, and your preferences. But you're really confused on who you are. Understanding oneself is the most important thing we need to learn and discover in our own life. It's like knowing your own for your own purpose while you live here on earth. So that's all and thank you. I hope I was able to impart something very important in your life tonight. Thank you.